and welcome back to Let's Play Double Dealing Character of Wall Station Wagon and the tips and hints from all the people that I've received uh, who yell at their screens the last time I tried to play this. We're gonna play on normal <laughs> this time this this time Spaz will be going with Remu A shot Remu A shot type, aka what I like to call Remu's LE Scythe shot type because you know spinning go hey. Looks similar to Ellie spinning scythe in Lotus Land story. So that's a running thing I I started probably just because I saw that first time I saw the demo to this game. It's a very powerful shot type though, and it's a very good homing style. I think this is one of the most useful and fun ways to clear double dealing character is with this shot type. Oh, um, I can actually add into that for you chaos of how he oh. got the game translated. Actually, give me to get the link. There's a thing called the Toho yeah. Patch Center that uh, updates all of your games, and not only does it have the English patches, but it also has uh, various English patches, like a troll comedy patch, a British English patch. Uh, I think there's even a pirate patch. Yeah, pirate speak patch. Not to mention a whole bunch of other languages as well. Oh yeah. yeah so they, they, these are translations from the official Toho Wiki guys. So the translations are more accurate than your typical run off the mill translations that you would normally see in games like USD POF he said perfect that POF a just, perfect cherry blossom go ahead just said that it, he tried that and it always fails to him it, you you probably were doing something wrong in this setup yeah no, it's a, I had similar problem. It's a, yeah it's a console command based thing and it's actually rather difficult to get some things because sometimes you have to put out the exact file path to where your Toho games are and that can be difficult or you can search your entire system and that takes a little while yeah but it's for it's relatively straightforward I think the only problem I ran into was a bit of physical copies at first with imperishable night but it was mainly a font issue oh yeah I remember that I had that with uh, you run it. Imperishable Nights, Mountain of Faith, and, uh, well, oh yeah, and POFB until I got the Cherno font. Yeah. Do you have those fonts that I could perhaps have later? I remember the link with the English patch, and I highly recommend them the to any Toho fan who makes Toho videos because they are amazing for, uh, if, like, I use them for credits and such. Cherno font that sounds pretty dang awesome in, in its own right. So anyway, what Wakisaki Hime here. I'd have to say that many of the yokai in this game are unique, very unique, and many Western styled actually. Yep, they're the back grassroots so. yokai. Well, back with chicken and pickles for my dinner. Welcome back, EX. We are re currently recording and on stage two. He he's doing relatively a lot better than he did when he started out Please, before. Is so. that you laughing at my dinner? No, I just uh, because I that's interesting dinner. I honestly don't think I'd like it. So, props to you, man. I'm eating props. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you. I think I think the. Uh, I think Ellie's sight here actually does a fairly decent job in locking down certain fairies. I keep calling it on you. Yes, I'm going to call it Ellie's sight because that's probably the closest thing we're gonna get for a joke name. I mean, come on, Sakia having a needler was yeah, funny. I guess we already had the needler, yeah. Well, Marissa borrowed a thing a thing or two from Gates of Seho. <laughs> Because he has a flamethrower module on his ship in the versus shooter. Very powerful, but it's close range in that game. Marissa's reach is out a fairly decent length, but only so far. Now be careful, Spaz, but 
keep in mind that the fairies that shoot those blue rings are fairly straight, and so it's mainly an intimidation thing, so it's not going to be a huge threat if you know exactly where they're going. Oh my god, that was so close to death. But you got to my nose, that was good. Yeah, nice. Very nicely done. Yeah, a lot of close calls, but no deaths yet. You'll hear me yeah. when I die. If you die when you have no bombs left, that death is that death was fine. You really want yeah, to avoid doing that above all else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Spaz, you are doing amazingly well now. Good job. But it's only just begun, as one would say. Yep. Important to build up some good resources, though, so you can take on the more difficult portions later on, or, though, of course. It's always good to build up a stockpile in this game. It pays off. Yeah, this is the trouble with this boss here. Oh, that kind of sucks. You, it, 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 they decided to home in on the head, which really makes it yeah. take a lot longer. Yeah, that's one thing I'd have to say is kind of the difficult part, is getting the getting Ellie's sight to do exactly what you want hey, and worked. home in on the boss. Sight yeah. can murder that card very quickly, though. Oh, under yes. circumstances. Yes. If you can get it away from the head and towards the body, then it works. Dang. Ah, he did the trick! Nice! <laughs> yeah, but then afterwards, it, it totally confused me. Yeah. Yeah. You off. That can happen. You gotta be ready for it. That's why that's why I do it just for fun. But I never do it on higher difficulty when it matters most and of the time. And plus I don't I tend to not do it when the blue bullets are starting to come down. I only do it in the beginning like EX says he does. Yeah, that's what he did too. Yeah. Well, yeah, I threw him off though because I'm getting out of it. trying to do it again. The, sa yeah. the laser eye beams in the last spell can also be done the same way. Mm -hmm. Which is actually a decent strategy. Because oh, yes. the Barbara bullet walls don't come near you half the time. I've beaten that card without moving. Cherno, <laughs> it's a, it has potential for a Cherno 9 card. Yep, it, well, it's pretty much, actually. At least on it can, normal It, it, it can kill you. It's not a yeah, true 9 card if it can kill you. Yeah, at least on normal in Embodiment of Scarlet Devil. She does fire off at you, so you can't use that safe spot. But it's ridiculous how you can exploit that in easy. Ooh, close call. Nice. Cannot fit a razor in between, <laughs> in between how close that was. Yeah, I like killing those big fairies before they spawn any numerous amount of those bullets that explode into white real, ones. It's not a realistic expectation, though. Most of the time, we're gonna get them off. Yeah. Even, even with the green dudes there, I normally am fine with letting them get the lasers off, but it makes it more difficult to point a click. Ooh, dang. That's long. Good. <laughs> yeah. We're doing a lot of the commentary. I think we're doing a lot of the commentary for Spaz That's because good. he's he needs got to a, play. he's got a fo yeah he's got a focus for this. Yeah, it makes things easier. Mm-hmm. Probably what made a lot of your run your for your blind runs difficult is that you had to commentate in some form. Yes. I always perform more when I'm um, talking and playing. Oh yes, most of the time. Unless it's unless I'm happen to be so good at it, it doesn't really challenge me anymore. That's all. I thought, EX. I thought you said you were gonna try not to eat and talk. <laughs> like you were. I said in that your in my video. I'm not. I said on my video. I'm not going to. I never said anything about now. We're we're. This is going up. On, <laughs> this is a reattempt though. It's not my recorded. video though. <laughs> <laughs> but it is your you. Oh sure that. Um, um. <laughs> oh sure, that makes it valid now, I suppose. I guess it does. <laughs> Much language. Yeah, I have 
to say I'm not I'm not as fond of this boss battle theme. I mean, I thought the previous it's themes were good. amazing. I love the stage theme of this particular stage, though. Even though it does kind of have the little Toho theme song thrown in it, it adds that's good. To I like it. that. Yeah, it's a it's, a, things... it's a it's a reference to Retribution for the Imperial Knight, the stage four theme of Imperial Knight. Yeah, direct callback. I mean, when Zo Zoom's comment says that he was going for a more mid-boss the theme for this character, and in some areas I think it turned out really well, but definitely I prefer some of the other boss battle themes in this game. It's alright. Not bad, mm -hmm. I agree. Case... My case in point is going to be coming up soon here with stage four. Boom. In a amazing. moment, you're going to gasp at one of the maneuvers I just did to avoid. And then I'm going to die by just standing still. Heard of the chair. Heard of the chair. Oh, you did it again, but you lived this oh. time. Because it wasn't as dense like an lunatic. <laughs> Oh, he did it on easy mode, remember? Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, when, oh, I, when I unfocus like that, that is what I try to do. <laughs> like, that's what Weave I want through to do. it that way. I, I understand that. I do think you had a little bit more time than you thought you had. Getting back under her is not as... is is not as... It shouldn't huh. be prioritized as much as living. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of what I, a lot of the themes in Double Dealing Character were really good. A lot of people seem to dislike some of the beginning tracks because they were too different. But I think the rock really added a big style of uniqueness. But it kind of moved on from that after it left the trial because I remember someone this is. A... Oh, sorry, sorry. No, go ahead. I remember someone. I remember someone making a quip about um, all the all the all the music sounding the same except for Raiko's theme. What? Pro probably uh, it was a, it's obviously an exaggeration, but uh, yeah, technically, definitely. technically you have um, the to the theme that you hear in the stage six theme is the same that you hear in uh, the final boss theme. In addition, well, you can actually change, hear, you can actually hear a little bit of that main theme in Sage's theme as well. It's kind of weird. Little bit, yes, I can see that. It's in the but... background. It's a. It's there. Yeah. Well, I'd have to say that the final themes really do kind of mix it up. It it really transitions nice from the stage. So it is same it is the same, but it flows really oh, well two, from the stage. Good. No skeptical yeah. too, but I fully agree. Mm -hmm. Well, skepticism is fine with me because I'm willing to listen to other people's opinions on the music and what they think of it, but I think that the stage to boss transition really did really fit the immersion of this Toho game. I'm hoping that that style can at least be okay. Well, at least, at well, least be re no. I got it. Can at least be revisited in nice. the next Toho. Nice. What I Ooh, like doing. Over from that. Now, what I like doing here is, similar to a lot of big other strategies, is kind of doing a U-shape here, where you point a collect on different sides of the screen. I almost say that that, that, the, that death was worth it, because you got two 2.0s two back to back. Yeah. Since you'll need one more to get that life back, but that shouldn't be too terrible, actually. It was a, good ex it was a decent exchange. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a life. Yes. There. You don't want to lose all of them, of course. I think some people complain this game is bomb spam the game, but hey, guess what? If you think that way, then don't don't bomb. Try it that way. And also, and also, tr and also, trapped on higher difficulties because. A bomb spamming will only get you so far. Eat on something like hard, 
because point of collecting and resource gathering becomes such a chore to do and bombing you can't always rely on because eventually you'll run out and your lives will too. I think it really helps to try to limit your bombs only to when you need it. Gives you more incentive in this game to actually bomb than other Toho games, but still, bombs are sparingly used by I me found, in this game. I found something interesting out only recently for some reason. The bosses only drop items when you clear their attack without bombing or dying. Really? Wow. I did not wow. know that for so long. I didn't either. That's interesting. Hey, attention! You'll see it, and you'll see that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, it, it's not dropping it there. I saw it drop on the captured though, so. How about that? What item it drops is actually dependent on what the next item you're gonna get from a point of collection. Hmm. <laughs> that I that I didn't know though. That seemed kind of a, a at least a little bit apparent. Anyway, I think Oh my is... god! Don't wow. do that! Wow. I knew that was gonna end <laughs> really bad. You, you the survived you the bomb, but I just oh, I got killed by the regular. You might think that's a safe you might think that's a safe spot for the bolt or aim in your general direction, so it wouldn't have been. That's I, know, why I know it's not safe, I was gonna bomb them when I got up there. And you, you did, so you managed to get out of it, but that was really silly. Alright, stage five. Ben Ben. Oh, where are Ben Ben just happen? showed you how. Whoa. Ben Ben just showed you how it's done. <laughs> what? What? I don't Curvy get it. lasers. Curvy lasers. No! <laughs> Oh dang! You die to the first bullet. Uh, yeah, I, oh, I've, I've I was seen wondering that where the hell that came from. <laughs> I've seen that <laughs> happen before. I love the backgrounds for this latter portion of the game. It's really pretty. If you guys yeah. watch any of my Let's Fail Toe videos, one of them happens <laughs> to have um, happens to have um, in stage three of Subterranean Animism in the beginning streaming part. Um, someone died to the very last bullet. Yeah. If you didn't tap I one more additional time. I actually really enjoyed the moments you had commentary even when you weren't supposed to. There was only one. I left my mic on by yeah. accident. <laughs> Don't understand. Yeah, there's a lot of build up here. I focus. I like to focus on one side, actually. I, rec I, I recommend you stick to one side in, in the stage for the most part. Mm. Wait, and, and as long way. as those purple bullets are around, I wouldn't try and point and collect. Yeah, that's that's again another reason to stay on one side. Like I stick to the side to go. Hey, wants to go. <laughs> And then I just go from there, because then at least you're killing all the enemies on that particular side. Hi, Sage. That was close, I'm actually. I'm Sage. We weren't talking to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right, the actual one, Sage. You got this, man. Just... There's probably oh. a way to tap into not your Toho... Oh, There's probably a way to tap it, tap into the Toho credit system, and so that way you can at least interface like a uh, freaking uh, coin mech, and you can actually insert coins for the for the point for the credits. At that Zoom point, would have, you're gonna have to ask yourself why. <laughs> Zune would have all of my quarters. <laughs> well, I mean, I could probably do it. I'm pretty sure I could. Yeah, uh, it's that, like impossible. I said, at that point, you just have to ask yourself, what am I doing Bye. in my life? <laughs> oh, and the game Mischief Makers had a system where you actually had to pay gold gems to see the rest of Did the end you? credits. Uh, <laughs> Mischief Makers, I, thank you, Spaz, that game is kind of awesome. Shake, shake. And RSG. Nice dodging. Wow. And, and Dude. R and RSG, not just Lua. No, we're not going to use Lua for this. We're going to use 
see an assembly. Okay. Holy crap, Spad. What? That was Holy nice. crap. You managed to get through the last egg of the stage. Yeah, except they got shot yep. by Sega's, uh, Sega's bullets. It's Sega. fine. Sega. That's fine. Got through the last... You would have... Had you died earlier, you probably would have had the bomb that part. You're, that, you're out ahead. Yeah, since someone mentioned mischief makers, make three you all know. No. You all know Shake Shake. I'm yes. sure. <laughs> oh, crap, I keep getting, like, scissors between those, those red and blue bullets. It's, a tri it's tricky. Um, you want you have to aggressively dodge it, so to speak. Can't, but you can't remain underneath those bolts. You have to get out from the last wave. Yes. Yeah. That, and if that doesn't happen, see that that. And if, the, if you don't get it in time, bomb. Yeah. And oh gosh, it's worse on higher difficulties because. I've become pretty good at it, to be completely fair. Yeah. To be completely honest. Because because you can actually get really used to the fast move in it, and if you take advantage of that, it actually becomes a lot easier to dodge, I noticed. Hey, so just I can show you what I oh, what's up, HDM? What's up, HDM? Well, is RSG still here? I do not know. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah, but the thing is, is that LUA is more, like, uh, interpreted, um, and stuff. So, um, it, it, it won't exactly work directly with the memory. So, what I was thinking was more doing something along the lines of C or assembly or something, but assembly would be a little too complex, so I guess C++ would probably work. Uh, with uh, mem address hacks. What do you mean, okay. mem address hacks? Oh, oh gosh, Spaz, do me a favor and beat the, the moment game. Of truth. Oh, yeah, that last card got you. Oh. Yep. Still made it All much right. further. It now seems that. Now that you know how the system works, it seems like the main thing you gotta work on now is not dying with bombs and sock. Yep. <laughs> that will come with time. Definitely. Once you learn what you can and can't do, that'll definitely help. Definitely, if you no. did an easy run of this game, you would have one CC that no Absolutely. doubt. Like it would, you would, you would have lives left over. I'd imagine. Because it's death normal's a huge step up. Ah, oh, so close. Darn. Oh well, died in the exact same place I died with uh, Sakio. It looks like he, he did actually. Yeah, it's yeah. the same oh. way. We're so close to another extend too. It'd be it'd be pretty it'd be pretty it'd be pretty terrible if you just see a knife fly out of nowhere and hit Reimu. <laughs> hey, Diz, did you just say the same thing three times? No. Anyway, that has been Let's Play Double Dealing Character, and, uh, thoughts? I think the game is absolutely fantastic, and it's a really, really great addition to the modern Toho games. I, I, hope, so I hope soon really makes more games like this. Anyway, yep. go ahead. I was about to say that I could actually live stream and show you how I played the game. I won't play on. Uh, I would only play on hard because that's the only one I'm capable of. I'm confident being in. I don't, I don't know. If you want to see that? In the future, yes, definitely. I love to see All that. All right. And also recorded too, so I guess other people can see it as well. Because another. Uh, thing I automatically have my stream recorded. Oh, excellent. Yeah, another thing about learning Toho is also just watching the LPs. That's how I was able to uh, get the Imperishable Bass. Nights extra stage down pat. But I have Imperishable Night now. Yes, in fact, that is actually my physical copy of Imperishable Night. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, see you folks later for other Toho games and other Toho shenanigans.
Alrighty. 